After Effects Character Animation Tutorial. Before we begin creating our character animation in After Effects, we have to set up the Illustrator file correctly. I have created a very simple character that will have limited animation for this tutorial, but you can adjust the complexity to fit your needs. The artboard is big enough to contain the character plus any movement I anticipate needing for arms and legs to swing. The most important thing to set the document up for animation is to create anything you want to move independently in a different layer. Not as sub-layers, but as discrete separate layers. Name them appropriately so you don't get lost once you begin animating them in After Effects. Set up the stacking order as well. The layers will import in the same stacking order that you have set up in Illustrator. I like to keep all of the facial expressions separate to create some very subtle facial expressions that add a lot of life to the character. I will keep the eyes, the nose, and the mouth each on a separate layer. For this example, I'm also keeping the front part of the hair and the ears separate. For your character, you may want to separate accessories like a hat, facial hair, whiskers, feathers, anything you might want to use to add life to the character. I am keeping the head separate. When I create head rotation, I do not want the neck to rotate as well, so that will remain part of the torso layer. The arms and legs are also separated on discrete layers. Save your file in the same folder that you are keeping all of your supporting documents and your After Effects file. Part 2. Creating a composition in After Effects and importing Illustrator files. Now I'm ready to open After Effects. Create a new project. Select New Composition. In the Composition Settings dialog box, name your composition, set the width to 1920, the height to 1080, the frame rate should be 29.97, that's 30 frames per second, and the duration can be anything you want. I'm making mine 15 seconds. The background color you choose will not be rendered with the final video. This is only a background color that you are comfortable working with in the main composition. I like light gray. Click OK. Now you can see there is a composition in the project window. To add content, go to File, Import File, then navigate to your Illustrator file in the project folder. The import options are very important. Select your file, then in the Import as dialog box, make sure you select Composition, Retain Layer Sizes. This will import all of your layers separately so you can access them. If you import as footage, your layers will be flattened into one layer. Check Create Composition, then Open. The file now appears in the project window as a composition and as a separate folder with the separate layers in it. We will be working with the composition. You can drag the composition into the composition window or to the timeline. Dropping it in the timeline will automatically center it in the window. Double click on the composition in the timeline to access the layers. You can see that the comps are tabbed. I can go back out to the main composition, then return to the layered comp. Part 3. Setting up the layers for animation. All the layers are now in the timeline. Although Illustrator is a vector program and After Effects uses vectors, these layers are actually rasters and are resolution dependent. In order to keep the layers crisp when scaling them up, 
I will turn on the continuous rasterize switch in the timeline controls. The first thing I will do to set up the animation for this character is by controlling the anchor points. Because we imported these files as retained layer sizes, the anchor point will automatically be centered within each layer. I'm going to leave the eyes and other features with the anchor point centered. I want to move the head's anchor point to the chin so rotation happens from there. I will move the arm's anchor point to the top of the shoulder, the legs to the top of the hip, the torso's anchor point will be close to the waistline. Next, I want to parent layers so they move together or independently as needed. I want the eyes, mouth, and nose to all move together, but move independently of the head to create the effect of head rotation. I will pick with the mouth and nose to the eyes. These are now children layers to the eyes. I want to parent all of those to the head, so I'm going to pick whip the eyes layer. I will parent the hair and the ears to the head as well. Now, if I move the head layer, all of the features will move with it. Now, I parent the head to the torso, the arms to the torso, the legs to the pelvis, and the torso to the pelvis. If I move the pelvis layer now, all of the other layers should move with it. Part four, keyframe animation. Now comes the fun part, bringing this character to life. I'm going to begin with the smallest movement and move to the larger movements last. In order to make the character appear to be rotating the head, I will animate the features moving slightly. Small motion is best for this. I will open the transform properties for the eyes, which have the nose and mouth parented to them. Any animation I do to the eyes will also affect the children layers. Move the CTI forward about a second, then create a keyframe in the position property. Move the CTI forward about 10 frames or so, and I'm going to move the horizontal position just a few pixels. I'm going to let the head rotation stay in this position for a few seconds, so I'll advance the CTI, set a new keyframe, move the CTI again about 10 frames, and adjust the position again. I want the ears and the front part of the hair to move in opposition to the features to create a real sense of motion. I'm going to line up the CTI on the first motion, create position keyframes for those layers, move the CTI to line up again and change the position again. I want to line up action on all the layers to change at the same time. I like to include eye blinks to add a greater sense of life. I'll do that by using the opacity transform controls. Create a keyframe at 100%, advance the CTI one frame, change opacity to zero, advance the CTI about 10 frames, create a new keyframe with the zero opacity value, move forward one frame, and change the opacity to 100 again. You can select all those keyframes and copy paste them anywhere you want on the timeline now.
Now I'm going to move the head rotation. Set a keyframe in the rotation property of the head layer. Advance the CTI and change the value a few degrees. I like to align movement as much as possible, so I will set another keyframe in the same position as the facial movement and continue to animate the head to work with the rest of the movement. I'm also going to animate the torso rotation. This can be subtle and still add a lot of life to the animation. I'm going to demonstrate some very simple animation of the arms and legs in this tutorial. Open the rotation properties for arms and legs, set keyframes, move the CTI, change rotation, and continue. Part 5, Animating the Composition Now that the character is articulated, I will go back out to the main composition and do some animation there as well. I want to control the anchor point on this too. I'm going to move it close to the ground. If I set position and rotation keyframes, move the CTI forward, then change the transform values, I can have the character moving and move through space. I can add a background shape or import additional Illustrator files for background or foreground elements.